I've been using this technique to add full color prints to my laser cut projects, like I did with these. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself using a printer. You can use any printer for this. I am going to use an old laser printer and regular 80 grams per square meter paper. But if you have an inkjet printer, even better, as you can usually get better results by using a photo quality paper. As you can see, the picture on the right is printed on an inkjet printer onto photo paper compared to the left photo that I've printed on the laser printer. Let's get to it. Open your vector software of choice and import your image. Links for the images and complete files in the description. I am going to use Corel Draw, but you can follow along in any vector based software. Inkscape is a great free solution. Adobe Illustrator is also a good choice. Start by tracing the image with the freehand tool, the pencil tool, in Inkscape and Illustrator. You can set the color of the outline to a contrasting color for better visibility. You don't have to be 100% precise. Usually I would use my graphic tablet for this, but today I'm going to use my computer mouse and be as sloppy as possible. One thing to keep in mind is not to go outside the subject so you get consistent edges. Better to trace a little bit inside to be safe, and you can always adjust the trace line. When you are done, select and resize everything to the size you want. I'm going to make this keychain 55 millimeters, 2.16 inches. Now create a circle where you want the keyring to attach. Duplicate this and mirror it for the other side. This step is not necessary, but to save on ink or toner, you can place the images inside the trace line. Here is the important part. We are going to make a rectangle around our design. This will help us reference our design to our laser cutter. Print the design at 100% scale onto a piece of paper. Duplicate everything and delete the images so you are left with the trace line and the reference rectangle. Set the outline color for the rectangle to black and the trace line to red. Select and export these as an SVG or whatever format works best with your laser cutter. Feel free to skip this step, but since this is going to be a keychain, it needs some protection, so I am going to laminate the prints. I know this works well because I had this keychain on my keys for over a year now, and it held up great. Some of the corners are sticking out, but that is because I pulled them up on purpose to see if this will cause it to peel off. For something small like this keychain, you can use scotch tape over the image or apply some spray lacquer. I only want the laminate on the face with the print, so the double-sided tape is going to stick better to it, so not to waste the other side of the laminate. I will put two prints back to back, so I am left with two face-only laminated prints. You can also use another piece of paper. After they are laminated, the prints can be separated by cutting along the edge. Now I'm going to add double-sided tape to the back of the print. That is why I chose not to laminate the back, as the double-sided tape will stick better to the paper than to the plastic laminate. Let's move over to our laser. Place a piece of paper or cardboard and secure it to your laser bed. My favorite way of securing these are magnets, but some tape would also work fine. Open your laser software, import the cut file you exported, and set the power and speed for the red line so it cuts all the way through your print and the black line to barely mark the paper or cardboard you secured to the laser bed. Set the red line not to cut and send the job to your machine so it only marks our rectangle. Now, to make it easy to place our print, you can cut out two corners of the reference rectangle so you can align it properly, any two corners. Place the print so the rectangles perfectly match. Set your red line to cut and black line not to cut and start the job. You will now have your prints perfectly cut and are left with two stickers. We need a backing for these, so we are going to delete everything except one tracing and set the power and speed to cut through 3 mm plywood and send the job. We are almost finished now. All we need to do is to stick the prints to our keychain on both sides and add a key ring.
and we are done. See how easy this was? Some things to point out. For this demonstration, I've printed only two sides of the keychain, but you can fill the page with them. So you can make hundreds in a very short time. This process works for any material that your laser can cut through. Simply add your print to the material in advance. To help you align it, leave the paper and reference line hanging outside the material on one side. For bigger prints, it helps if you apply the double-sided tape on the backing and not the print. You can use this technique for custom packaging and boxes, signs, ornaments, lamps, and much more. You can make bigger projects than your printer can print out by making them in parts like I did with this one. The tip is printed and cut separate. I chose a line in the design as my joining point. I've also added the files for this keychain hanger with matching keychains that you can customize with your own names and a set of cute keychains on my website, mymagicsigns.com, in the free file section for you to practice on. Have fun making, and bye for now.